Next question is from Health Reimagined 3000. If you're going to include running in your regimen, is it better to run before or after lifting? Yeah, Whichever one you want to be good at, that's do it. first. Yeah, that's the bottom line. You know that principle applies to lifting Priority. too. Yeah, what exercise you want to get strongest at? What body part you want to develop the most? What skill you want to do develop the most? You know, if your goal is endurance and stamina in running, you should run before you lift. If your goal is building muscle and strength, then you should do that before you run. And there's studies on this that show and that someone's going to be asking, well, what if I want to do both? Well, it's the one you care about most. Yeah. So yeah. Or, alter all or maybe alternate. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's, yeah. that's fair. You know what I'm saying? But, but I, I think that everybody, there's always something that's a little more important, right? Like I'm, I'm more focused on building my body than I am being really good at running, but I, I want to run really good too. So then that's going to go after I work out or you're like, I run, that's what I'm more into, but I also want to be strong and lift. Well, then you do that first. Right? Yeah. It's, mm -hmm. And it's true. Again, this is true for all programming. So if someone's like, Oh man, you know, uh, when I work, I work out my legs and my lower body, but my my butt doesn't grow or my hamstrings don't grow. If you train those first and then go into the rest of your workout, you'll notice better gains in that, right? Uh, it's true for, for the whole body. That's that. What is that? There's a, a term for it where your body adapts most to the thing you do, I guess, uh, earlier in the workout. And it's definitely true for running. Now, I do want to say that that lifting and running can compete with each other with the signals that they send. So that means that if you do both a lot, you'll get some of both, but not a lot of either. So, And that's okay for a lot of people. They want to be well-balanced. They want to have stamina and endurance. They also want to have strength and muscle. Then you do them both. If your goal is more towards the muscle and strength, well, you, you're going to do more of that and less of the running um, and vice versa. And there are studies that, that support you know kind of what we're talking about. Now, some people may say we're splitting hairs. I'd say probably, but if you do this all the time, you know, splitting hair starts to turn into a bigger impact, right? So mm -hmm. if you do it once or twice or whatever, not that big of a deal. But if this is how you always train, then the order of operation starts to make uh, a bigger difference. I would also say there's a there's a little bit of uh, an individual variance here too. Like sometimes some people like uh, they swear by like running a mile before they start their workout. It just energizes them and gets them ramped up. I guess if it's easy for you. Right. Yeah. So, and so, so some people will swear by it kind of priming them for getting ready to do a lift and they find more energy. Other people will be like, man, every time I run before I work out, I just, you my, my lifts suffer. I'm just not as strong or what right. that, which is, I think most people are like that, but there are exceptions to the rule. And so some of this is a little bit on your individual preference. Do yep. you, do you feel better? You know, do you, do you, when you lift first, does it, does it uh, really hinder your running to where you don't enjoy your run at all? So you have to run first or vice versa. Like, I mean, a little bit that has to come into play. Well, also. I like challenging anybody in terms of, even if like running is your priority to focus specifically on strength for a phase uh just like if if you're just all focused on strength you focus exclusively on conditioning and endurance and running you know specifically as you know a period of time where you can devote getting better yeah. at the mechanics the technique that's a good point and, and really just like honing in on that uh to, to bring that skill set uh back into the overall but uh you know your body really does like respond specifically to things if you can uh you know stay within one type of adaptation. Yeah, I used to do it before and after, but it was because I had didn't have a driver's license when I was a kid. I, one of the first gyms I joined was the YMCA. Yeah. And I didn't run to it. I walked and ran everywhere. I don't, yeah, I, but I rode my bike. So it would be a 30 minute bike ride before and after uh, my workout. Um, and so that's how I used to train when I, was, when I was a kid. Hey, if you enjoyed that clip, you can find the full episode here or you can find other clips over here. And be sure to subscribe.